What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. All right, BFFs, another episode. Uh, we got a special guest, Chris Olsen, on the couch with Josh. Welcome, Chris. Thank whoop, whoop. you. So, uh -oh. get in the background. I'm always the new one to this. Um, you've been kind of getting your groove on. I don't know why I said that. Getting the groove, getting the groove on. Never, on. That's <laughs> like, well, what is that? Stella got a groove you. back. <laughs> that was a weird. I don't know if I've ever used groove like that, yeah. but <laughs> whatever. Groovy. Since March 2020. So, like, two years. Is that right? Like, basically two years. TikTok that you've been uh, well known on TikTok. Yeah, well, I guess like, I mean, well-known can be used uh, in many different ways, but like the, a blow up happened in maybe August of 2020. So it was a little into quarantine, but downloaded the app for the first time in April, for sure. Were you do What were you doing before that? Um, I was going to college for musical theater. In, I actually um, saw that Berkeley, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to Berkeley College of Music in Boston. So, and I, I actually ended up finishing just over Zoom last April. So I continued doing that over Zoom, even during the social media thing. And um, that's what I ended up like. Uh, that's that's kind of what I was doing before that. In so the short answer. I may have the highest regard of any living person of people who go to Berkeley School of Music. So I, I grew wow. up like 20 minutes north of Boston. So, um, and I live right behind Berkeley. But isn't Berkeley basically just the most talented, like musical people on That's earth? That's what I thought too. Yeah, it's definitely like there's amazing, very talented people who go there. I wouldn't say I was one of the most talented people to go to Berkeley, but I think, um, you know, if you're there, you're you're good at something. So but there was a ton of people went there. Charlie Puth went there, John Mayer, and then a lot of people who are singing on TikTok right now um, either went there or currently go there. So there's definitely like a good family uh, at that school. So what was it competitive? Yeah, it's I think it's really competitive like to I think get in for the for the first part and then honestly the goal for a lot of Berkeley students is to drop out before you finish is to like be successful enough that you can drop out right before you finish um and that's that's kind of like the way of the music world specifically if you're there for music. That's kind of cool. That's like yeah, so, that's so, really so it's like a bad little... thing if you graduate. It's just like you, you're, you're still like, why aren't you working yet? I think because like it's taking too long kind of thing. Yeah. Because right. music is such like a young territory. So I, I mean, if you think back to like most of the, I mean, if you, you have like Billie Eilish, who's winning 27 Grammys at the age of 16. So there's kind of a lot of pressure to get moving earlier on. So there, it can, it can be very competitive, but I, I mean, I think it's good. To, it's it's good for some of them to graduate too. I don't think they feel like a failure, but it's definitely like um, that's that's kind of a, a a thing that is said there. Do you think that age bar for music got lower with social media? Like, do you think when you go back ten years, like you could graduate, but it's not like oh shit, I'm kind of I'm super old to be getting into music yeah. now. I think everything got younger with social media because a, like I'm I mean. I have friends who are working in the corporate world who are like, oh, I just feel like I need to I need to act older. I need to seem older. And I'm over here in the social media world being like at my like fossil age of 24. I feel like I shouldn't tell anyone that. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> you're you're just hitting just Dave at the hard string. Yeah, I'm hitting Dave turned, at the hard string. Literally just had Dave a birthday is an artifact. Like last week. This guy, 24 fossil, I'm 45. So I should be dead <laughs> by your calendar. <laughs> I mean, that's not, this isn't my opinion. I feel like it's been placed on me many times also most of the internet thinks i'm in my 30s and if you search my name on google it says i'm 75 so there really isn't like um <laughs> there, that's a really wide range yeah, yeah yeah 24 to 75 i i don't know where that's kind of coming from but i accept it because it if if anything it makes people even more confused about my age but i think okay. social media in general just made the the bar for success younger and younger and i think there's a lot of pressure to get things done as fast as you can yeah so let's get to it do you think i'm creepy then if i'm like 44 <laughs> and doing this bff podcast absolutely like not TikTok? 
No. Wait, wait, Dave, are you like 44 or are you 45 now? I'm actually 45. I turned 45 <laughs> last week. I uh, forgot about that. Oh, okay, that. okay. Well, yeah. um, no, I don't think I don't think that's a bad thing. I, if anything, I think we need more of a wide range of people of, of many different ages in social media and to have the older ones not be completely unhinged as we sometimes see uh, them go. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you started that speech. I, you were, weren't looking. I did one hands up because I took one dagger and then you went right back to it. So we're off to yeah. a smashing start <laughs> here. With, but I mean, I get it. How can I not get it? Um, so you went basically uh, social with your ex-boyfriend, right? You guys started yeah. making videos. Now, is he much older than you? I'm just looking at a picture here. How is, or are you yes. guys the same age? No, there's um, a, like a 10 and a half year age difference. Okay. He's, he's 35 now. So you like older dudes? Yes. Okay. I it's listen, I'm so, in that world. So Dave yeah. Dave's so, like <laughs> keeping that in the back of the mind. So if you're Dave's kind of like, like all right, doing uh, it Dave's for, getting creepy. For something. Yeah. Well, you were girlfriends, so I can see the different come on now. Like I already did. <laughs> right. Oh, totally, shit. totally. You can just text me after. <laughs> hey, if I swing that way, maybe I will. You never know. Um so I, I'm trying to read. I always tell I feel like our producers lead us down a road. And, and I'm reading what it says on the Chris and Ian model of perfect, healthy relationship, often posting videos talking about their problems, even if you were staging the problems for TikTok. So were you guys doing that? Is that factual? Like you were just looking for content and it wasn't actually real? Or is that our producers digging? No, I mean, early on, it was definitely a lot of uh, quarantine. We're just uh, I, I'm just going to like set up the camera. Hopefully he doesn't see it say something and kind of go off of whatever he says. But after a while um, and it becoming a job as it does so quickly there, it did become a little more contrived because there was an audience that we felt like we had to please in some ways. But I also noticed that the, our best videos would still be the ones that felt spontaneous and fun. So we tried to keep that um, as like close to our core as we could. But, you know, with, with social media, it's tough to be authentic 9,000% of the time, even though that's always the goal, I feel like, for most yeah. creators is to always do authenticity and people love their authenticity. But, I mean, when one, once you're in the world, you know that nothing that is happening is 100% authentic um, as far as we try to to pretend or make it. So... Good timing for you to come on the show because you were at the Oscars and that's all anybody is still talking about. <laughs> no, I'm still curious. How did you get to the Oscars? Like, why were you invited to the Oscars? If it's an obvious reason, I apologize. But no, I'm always no, curious no, no. who gets invited, how, like, what's that I process? Mean, I mean, that, that's also most of my comment section right now. Is, it, and, and most of the other TikTokers' comment sections is like, why the fuck is a TikToker at the Oscars? If... If, if anyone is getting an invite to the from the Academy to the Oscars, I think you're going to say yes to it regardless. But anyway, the Academy asked for a group of TikTokers to come and kind of post about and cover the event um, with very it was it was kind of the first year that they did it. So there weren't like very strong guidelines of what we were doing while we were there. But um, we me and a, a few other of my friends were directly asked by the Academy to go and then just kind of view it all and post some content. And um, so that's why I was there. Definitely not, I was not linked to any of the movies exactly, but it was a, it was, it was a good time, a very interesting night. I mean, it I makes like sense th makes sense for the Oscars to be doing this, right? Totally. Like bringing in a completely different demo. That's what I don't understand right. with these comments. Like people freaking out, like, why the fuck are they there instead of me? It's like, ah, they got a couple million followers. They're probably going to promote it, bring some viewers to the Oscars. Yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. yeah, just like the Met Gala this year. Exactly. People always freak out. That's the number one freak out when people get invited to the Met Gala. Right. And I That's think true. I think what the people also don't realize is that the Oscars and the Met Gala kind of want people they're 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 not mad about people freaking out or being angry that TikTokers are there. If anything, you're just making the noise louder and you're gonna watch yeah, it these just events helps. It helps regardless, it. you know. So I read those comments and I'm just like, I don't know, where's your invite? <laughs> okay, so then, well, that's the perfect lead-in of what you just said of, like, they're not mad about the comments. Obviously, Will Smith, the slap of Chris Rock. Mm. There's so many, this is the first time yeah. we're talking about it. Yep. Do you think the Academy issued an apology the next day? It's all oh, I didn't see about. that part. And 
What's I that? Didn't, I, I didn't see that the Academy issued an apology. Yeah, I, by the way, I love how we keep calling it the Academy. Like, even <laughs> you, like, the Academy reached out. Like, do you pick up your phone? It's like, hey, this is the Academy. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like fucking Suddenly. X-Men. Yeah, yeah, it's like X-Men or some shit. It's like a group of 20 people around a table, and they're all, like, using voice all disorders. Like, yeah, hooded, yeah. like, you can yeah. face. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so who, they like, well, how, actually, what do they do? Just a person like, hey, this is Joe Schmo from the Academy? or I like, mean, no, it's, it came through my agent saying Got it. That, the, that the Academy reached out. I, if I had a name, I would probably be saying their name, but I, I don't. And Maybe they'd probably kill secretive. you if you did that. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> you know, they did issue it. They're like, sorry, there's no place for it. We should have reacted better. Um, they said they're launching an investigation. I don't know what the hell that means. Like, what do you have to investigate? It's, it's pretty it's clear what yeah. yeah. happened. Yeah. Right Everything was recorded. I'm pretty, yeah, everyone on TikTok just did an investigation for the last yeah. 12 hours. Yeah, right. there, and Chris Rock said he wasn't going to press charges. So it's like, exactly. what are you going to investigate? Right. So um, you just said, based on like, uh, Chris, like the feedback of people complaining is noise. People are talking about it. the The Academy Awards is an old show. Um, everyone's talking about it. So do you think they are happy, mad, neutral on what happened? I, I mean, it's it's tough to say on on that perspective and not to speak for the entire academy, but it's it's like it it does make it it does make a lot of buzz around the show. And I think maybe as producers who are just looking at numbers, I wouldn't be happy if they are like maybe quietly a little happy about what I. I I think I said I wouldn't be happy. I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't um, at least a little quietly happy about what's going on while knowing they need to front face with the fact that there was an assault and we need to be mature about this and talk about it in a way that is very PC. But I mean, I, I've I, once you're in the world, you know that most things just revolve around numbers and viewers. And I think they can't, they can't help but to maybe look at that in a different way than the average person would. So we got to go around the horn. We haven't talked about it yet at all. Oh. Um, there, there have been, there's been people on both sides of this. So the people like, you know, Jada has the hair, alopecia or whatever, the disease. Yeah. You can't yeah. go after it. Will Smith defended his wife. Um, there's people, obviously, it's assault. It's a joke. Calm down. Bree, where are you at on this? I think everyone here at Barstool is on Chris's side. and I think I saw a tweet from you. I think I'm on Will's side. I don't That's know. Crazy. I think a joke. Mm. Okay. Maybe the assault part. No. I think him like screaming at him was fair. And like Chris Rock's joke at the expense of like what she looks like. I think it was stupid. If you're going to make a joke, at least do it about the cheating. That's so much worse though. But I feel it? like that's way everyone's worse. It's jo- so everyone's much joked worse. about that, though. Like, why joke Not about her will. alopecia? That, like, a woman is obviously going to be very sensitive about that. Mm. Yeah, I guess, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to want to be sitting in front of, like, 100 people, 200 million people watching, and then he's like, ha, remember when August fucked your wife? But you someone I mean? someone earlier in the show, I forget who it was, made a, made a joke towards that already. Like really? you don't, but the thing is, Chris Rock's a comedian. They've had stand-ups, whether it's Ricky Gervais, Chris Rock. These are celebrities. People say stuff about them all the time. A bald head. She's a beautiful woman, regardless. To be honest, yeah. when I heard the joke, I thought it was more because they're making fun. Gi Jane one stunk, and she was in it. Like I didn't know she had the hair disease. But if Will Smith doesn't react, there's not one human I don't think in the world who's like, "Whoa, did you hear that Chris Rock L Alpecia joke?" And there's been other jokes made by I think Chris Rock. The internet never loses. Like somebody dug right. up like a super old clip of Will Smith making the same exact joke like years and mm. years ago, but. <laughs> You know, to go up and slap somebody in the face is crazy. You're on hit. Oh, You're like crazy. a lunatic. You yeah. can do anything. You're capable of anything. Also, if I think if that was anyone else in the world, like Will Smith is the most beloved actor ever. Right. If it was anyone yeah. else, it would be like he'd be arrested on scene. It would be he wouldn't have won his award. I think because it was Will right. Smith, people don't really care that much. Well, that's the thing. I, I love Will Smith. He's yeah. like my favorite actor ever. So it's hard not to like ride with my dog. You know what I mean? But at the same time, yeah, walking up and slapping someone in the middle of a show it's a little bit it's a little bit crazy and, and there's yo, no chance chris took that slap though with a smile on his face Listen, i was he ate that. that he ate that i was pretty I impressed still think there's five percent chance it's fake like ah, I, okay I, i've recent i've slow mode the slap i just can't get over and the only thing i have is what's the like i guess like chris saying any news is any publicity is good publicity 
but I swear he moves his face before he gets slapped. Like also, they're both laughing after. Him. They're both like laughing. If you look at like a screenshot of both their faces, Will yeah. turned I, around. I think Chris the after Will, the slap, they're both just smiling. Like, I think the Will smile and laugh is like a like a devious psycho laugh. Like when people are like, he laughed at the joke. I think he was like laughing, like, "Oh, my, I'm gonna fuck you up." It's like when you're really uncomfortable yes, and yes. you just start kind of smiling, laughing, mm. but there's like rage building yeah, up you're inside plotting. of you. Okay. Yeah. So Chris, being there, I don't know how close you were to the actual stage. I assume they didn't put you in the front row, but oh, I just, yeah. No, it's <laughs> what, vibes. what was the vibe? Like, did you know what happened? Yes, I was just a lot of people. So like one thing I didn't realize is that a good amount of the audience just kind of like gets up and leaves during commercial breaks and doesn't come back until a few commercial breaks later. So there were a fair amount of people that literally weren't in the room when that was happening. But I just Imagine. decided to kind of sit and watch most of it. And when I saw him start walking up, I was like, oh, they're doing a, a little a thing. Little bit, yeah. Something is happening. And then the slap just looked too real and so everyone like got a little confused because it was like that I, we would guess that was a fake slap based on the fact that everyone was just laughing but i mean it he he really he took it and then when the yelling started happening they didn't mic him but you could hear it throughout the entire um throughout the entire theater like his voice was echoing through the room and everyone got really silent i mean you can see like lupita behind him in most of the clips yeah she's kind of laughing until she with the rest of the room realizes like oh shit you see her face kind of start to like go like, like kind of oh. slowly fall yeah, she's and then you her. realize that slap wasn't fake and it was really real and then you're like well that was a fucking hard slap and then you realize that this is not uh that we're, we're not joking anymore so it gets really silent and you can feel like chris rock's anxiety of how to move forward in that moment of just like do i laugh through it yeah and, and the he handled it like a champ though like yeah. i've never seen someone be like more professional in a moment than i think chris rock after he yeah. got slapped but I mean, the the tension was high for the next like f for for a good chunk of it until Amy Schumer finally like um, acknowledged it and was like, "Is the energy different in this room? What happened? Yeah. Like, we needed her to do that much earlier for the sake of like most of the room." But it was it was an intense moment for sure because you just had all the, however many thousand people sit in that theater feel very silent, intense, even so through the next commercial break. You must be. Well, I don't know. I would be so, like, I'm psyched it happened. I think it's funny. Like, people awesome. are like, assault, jail. It's like, it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you get the benefit of being like, I was there. I was people there. are going to remember that. that slap it's, that's going to go down in like, history. Yeah. TV. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like the Kawhi Leonard shot to send Toronto it, to rappers any, to the championship. It's, anyone. it's and like, anyone wow. The Oscar. Yeah. It's like, it's. <laughs> and then the speech is crying. So were you right away like, Fuck yeah. This is like the best Oscars ever. <laughs> it was it was definitely in my head that I was like, well, I mean, if I were at any, I'm glad I'm at I'm glad that I'm at one. this one, yeah. even if I never go back again. But it was just like the moment it happened, so many texts started ringing in because I think on most channels they they muted or they stopped playing what, what he was doing. And I was like. No, that that was real. Yeah, that I texted. Real. I texted Blake. I texted Blake Gray because oh, yeah, Blake was, was there. He was yeah, right next to yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. I texted him right away when it happened. I was like, "Dude, what the is fuck? this shit fucking real? Like, did you hear this?" He was like, "Yeah, we could hear the slap, man." Yeah, yes. Yeah, I was watching it live and was, and I'm, again, maybe that's a shot at my age, but because everyone's like, "Oh, of course you'd watch the Oscars, old man," <laughs> but I was watching it live and I was so convinced that it was work like staged i didn't right. even go on twitter i'm like no that there's just zero chance that Until, was real yeah. like 10 minutes later i'm like let me just go check and then i think it was australia they had the australia footage yeah and you yes. heard will smith like yelling yeah now yeah will smith is a certified looney tune like listen i i i grew up on him as well i'm not that old fresh prince and all that stuff oh, but yeah. i mean he's gone down the scientology path a little bit his kids are insane the red table with letting you sweet so like if a crazy person's gonna do it it's him and there's no chance people have said it like if that was the rock there's no chance he gets up that, to do it. I was saying that yeah. on my live stream yesterday. I was like, you know, there's Chris Rock, but if it was Dwayne the Rock Johnson saying the joke, I, he's probably looking at Jada when Jada has that mean face on her, like telling like, hey, get up there, go defend me. He's probably looking at Jada like, hey, sorry, girl. Ah, that <laughs> joke was funny. <laughs> Laugh at it. Yeah, joke yeah, was yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. But if he's crazy enough to do that, I feel like he would do it to anybody. Right. No. Maybe. 
This I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. Well, well, you just called him the craziest person ever. You don't think he would yeah. do it to the Rock then? If you're well, that the craziest insane, person ever, insane. would do it to the Rock. That's true. Mm. That's a good point. There's, but there's crazy to think like you can get away with anything, and then there's crazy like, well, I know that guy will beat me up. Like he he got away. And and I, by the way, I don't think it. I think anybody at the Oscars in the front row could have. The same result, like the, the Oscars, like people are like, why didn't security come? Why didn't they, like who would, if I'm security and I see Chris Rock walking, I mean, Will Smith walking up to Chris yeah. Rock, you think I'm it's not a like, bit. let me jump in there and get in the middle. <laughs> yeah. It's not like a random fan stranger running right. onto the field. It's an yeah. A-list celebrity, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and he, about as A-list as you can get too. Right. <laughs> and he was also like literally the closest to the stage that you can sit took him two steps to get up there. So there's not much time for everyone to process like, oh, okay, Will Smith is getting up there. What's going on? Like, we didn't have this in our original program or something like that. Yeah. So It was also the most perfect slap I've ever seen in my life, though. He that followed was, through. That was... And he mm -hmm. did, then, he, of course, he does his fake apology after, like two days after the long, like, violence. Says, Meanwhile, it's a long Instagram post, but he's actually getting jiggy with it, like, that he night dancing. He got so he, jiggy after. He, he was <laughs> jiggy as fuck, bro. That shit was crazy. Now, truth be told, I am a huge Chris Rock guy. Like, I bought in one ticket in my life for a stand-up yes, comic. You've it's said him. This. I think yep. he's a genius. Um and I, I want revenge for him, assuming we're going with the real thing. Like, it, it, everyone said he handled it gracefully. He did. He clearly did. I wish he went after the infidelity right off the bat. And just. And now I'm hoping he does a two-hour two bid on it. Yeah. Uh, so You're hoping he just goes double down and, and does an entire and, Netflix special. Like, okay, okay. What if he they hosts like a? Anything. What if they bring back like the Comedy Central roast? No, didn't something just do a like Will that. Smith roast? Didn't he tweet um, my gums? Was that real? Chris Rock tweeted my gums like um, took the blow of the oh, slap. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. I don't know if that's real. I didn't know he did anything. No, yeah, it's real. He tweeted. It was huh. funny. So he he's clearly running with it as a joke. Yeah, and I also think. Like, I don't, I just don't think anybody can get that mad about alopecia. Like, tons of people have it. It sucks. You lose your hair. But a lot of people have it. There's been jokes made about a lot. I do think he's probably at a boiling point with the other stuff. I think, I think just, that's what it is. I think it's just, there's so much that's probably been added onto this guy's plate with the wife and everything. It's just like, it's probably just, it's just like a ticking time bomb. Yeah, it has to be. So, outside of that, what were your thoughts of the Oscars? And I guess that's the main thing. I, that's the only thing yeah. I've watched. That's literally the only thing I watched about the Oscars. That, well, I mean, if you Google just the Oscars, that is all, all that shows up right now. Yeah. I mean, even from the night after, that was all that was showing up. But other, I mean, other than that, I thought it was a great show. I thought it was interesting how like uh, Will came back to the fact that he's like, it's kind of because of my role that this happened. Because I mean that I mean it's it's sort of it feels like a cop out in a way, but it's also like I am just so into my artistry. So you're like, okay, I, I'm not really sure how we as an audience are supposed to absorb that, other than thinking like, I guess you're a really good actor if you're still in character. Yeah, that's but, some um, crazy method acting, Will. Yeah, yeah, it's like I think you're supposed to drop it once the once you wrap on set. But <laughs> um, I thought that was I thought that was a really interesting thing that he was bringing up at the end while like you know going through. He tears. did make some type of joke. It was kind of like jokey, right? When he said it, like yeah. he was like he was like. I guess I am the crazy father, like King Richard or something like yeah, that. Like I mean, he said something. He time. was like definitely a favorite to win. So I'm sure after that moment happened, you're, he's in his head thinking like, what the fuck am I going to say now if, yeah. if they do happen to call my name? And like the last thing is I remember right after it happened and then Chris Rock has to come, come forward and like read the nominees. It's like Jada and then his co-star from King Richard and then one other actress all were like, surrounding him at his chair just like holding him and like comforting him basically after whatever just happened um and i don't think that part was on camera but i was like looking down over the balcony just to see what was going on because it was definitely just like he was an angry guy that had like three women kind of like holding him down and holding him back and i think that was like I, that that just added to the the tension of the moment the realness for sure 
if I was Chris Rock, I'd be like, who is my side? Like, everybody was, like, consoling him. He's getting, like, a standing O. He was he playing was victim. Slapped in the face. And I that mean, joke, that joke, comedians make jokes. I, I keep saying it, but in the scheme of mean jokes, that was not that mean of a joke. No, it's it a really sad, yeah. it's, a, it's a scary time to be a comedian, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, comedians are, are at this point known, like, you're going to make a problematic joke, and it's probably going to be ripped apart at some point. But, um, yeah, I, Chris Rock had to, like, only get after the slap he had to walk basically closer to will and like he hesitated for a second because i was like is he really gonna go forward or is he about to say like have someone else present this at this point because at that point when you're presenting you're literally two feet away from where will smith was sitting so i can't imagine you all know roback they're back for another year hands down best fit best feel if you saw me playing golf uh last week i was playing golf with oh, no no big deal just ricky fowler Kygo, um, Taylor Fritz, nice little foursome. I was rocking the row back. Got a lot of compliments on it. I have the performance hoodies. They're a total game changer. Maybe the softest, stretchiest hoodies in the game. The row back performance polos are the best in the game. You can't find a better looking, better fitting performance polo. Their print polos are always on point. They're classic solids. Don't miss. They're simply the best. Um, just pure quality. Check out their Insta at Roback or visit their website, roback.com and use the code BFF for 20% off your first purchase. That's spelled R H O B A C K dot com. That's twenty percent off all performance polos, Q zips, and hoodies with code BFF. New spring gear just dropped, so go check them out at Roback dot com. Um, moving on, in, in all time, I think Barstool BFF producer move here. The ordering of this, so basically, and this is I go on my tangents, but we we have the information on Chris, like your background, your story, dating. And it's one, two pages of that. So I figure, okay, we're through the, the personal stuff with Chris. And now we get on to the Oscars. We do the Oscars. And then page, they put more. <laughs> now yeah, page back. six, we just jump back into his personal <laughs> stuff. What can... They, they oh. needed the Oscars to like shake me loose a little bit, I think. Yeah, yeah we needed oh, one to make you feel up. comfortable, and <laughs> yeah. then we're gonna really like, hit you where right, it hurts. Now, now he feels like he's off the hook, so let's like get him when he's unexpected. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Let's get awesome. Right any, any, um, <laughs> any chime in on why we did that that way? So that it was the timing aspect of we wanted that to be as close to as possible to the front of the show and make sure we got that in, and then if that went like a forty-five minute discussion that where at least we got that in and then we can get back to the other stuff after. So you want to talk about your breakup now, Chris? Yeah, air it want, out. Want to. <laughs> That's like what's want next to is sheet. such an interesting, uh, an interesting verbiage around it, but I, sh I can. <laughs> where do we begin? Yeah, I mean, what? what well, it went super viral. 18 million views, over 2 million likes. Am I crazy or do I feel like people weirdly almost and i could be making this up get more vested sometimes in like gay relationships i feel like they just explode am i making oh, that up? i mean i've thought of this before because i'm I, I definitely wonder why um the girls love their gays but i think it really is a thing about like you're seeing two people sharing like comforting male energy and it's a huge thing on tiktok of 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 women being like i'm just consistently treated badly by men or like men are trash men are the worst so then you see two men with a little bit more of an emotional range who are a little bit more sensitive towards each other and it's like oh that's what i want they're just and there's no uh direct threat towards me they're not trying to look for a woman in the first place so i think that could definitely be some of the draw of it but there's definitely uh i mean because also 87 percent of my followers are women there's a huge draw just for the girls towards the gays and i think that plays into it that's nuts i would have expected you to have way more because I even have, I think, more male followers than Chris does on TikTok. But yeah. you would have expected Chris to definitely have more male followers than me. Yeah, I mean, Hat tip. I, I would expect <laughs> that maybe, and if the percentage of guys were higher, it would be all gays. But gays yeah. are, my, are, are my biggest haters. 
um, they tend to be the the meanest. So why? Wait, gay why people don't like you? Don't like you? Gay's no, I mean, I, I listen. I'm also not. Go- I don't want to put an umbrella over that and say all like I have. I have tons of amazing gay followers. But if there's ever been a, a hate video that's been made about me saying like Chris doesn't deserve his platform, I hate him. He's not funny. Or uh, and most hate comments are almost always done by a fellow gay. And I think it, it kind of goes back to like, I mean, Bree just said gays not supporting gays. Like it's a girls not supporting girls type of deal. It's oh, like okay. there's some sort of weird competition that's being put between us, even with me and someone, I have no idea who they are, but it's, it's, it is a really interesting perspective or when I'm out in public, it's, it's mostly if I'm in like a gay space, it's mostly that kind of place where people really want to make it known that they have no idea who I am. Like, I didn't know who you were before any, I don't, I don't know anything about you. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. No, you don't right. need to know who I am, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but they really feel the need to drive home the point that, that like, they really they think I'm you. nothing. And yeah. I'm like, Cool. I same like I also think I'm nothing so we can share that point together but um yeah that that's definitely I think that is probably where my demographic falls short huh. with guys I, I could actually see a reason for that too because I think if a fellow gay criticizes you or says something mean nobody is going to be like well you're homophobic or you're whatever like but <laughs> right. if a straight guy starts going after it's like well why are you saying that like there's yeah. an undertone of maybe there's like you know stereotypes being involved right so right. that could be part of it too yeah and i'm if if a if there are like homophobic comments um like in in any of my content that doesn't really affect me at all because i'm like i, I it's just it's so like far out of my psyche that I'm like, yeah, I'm, I am, I am gay. I don't know what you want me to do about it. (laughs) Um, but when it's coming from like a fellow person in the community that can hit a little harder because I'm like, Oh shit. Like I'm just trying to help us all out by giving us some more visibility and having people like I've had a, a bunch of, of straight guys or just, you know, straight people in general DM me like, never seen a, a gay relationship until I saw you guys on TikTok and that really started changing my mind. And I'm not saying like I am this champion of, of showing people what a gay relationship is like, but if that happens once or twice, I feel like I, I'm only trying to help us out. But I also understand that if someone doesn't like me, it's more of a reflection on what they're going through and I can't change that unless they want to get into therapy. So <laughs> that's, that's where I stand there. Yeah. And I feel what, what you said. It's like if someone doesn't like you just because you're gay, they're like, there's nothing you can do, and that's just like an asshole. The co- like, if someone doesn't like me, and they're they're a meathead or whatever, and I don't, it's like, it hurts me. It, not hurt, but you take more if you value somebody's opinion. It's like you right. don't think they didn't have agenda. If someone's just a total moron. I could care less what they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's next for you? <sighs> um, I mean, next is is trying to. Um, just, I mean, I guess it has been in the past few months is like going on this social media journey alone now was uh, a big step that I was really nervous about because I didn't know what was going to happen after we broke up. I, there was a big thought in my head that it was just all kind of going to end because we blew up together as a couple and it's not working out and I, we can't stay together just because of social media. So there was a big fear in my head that it may all fall apart, but I've been really, I've been just kind of connecting with an audience in a new way. So there are a lot of like fun solo ventures I'm going on and I've, I've ended up bringing in a a lot more people who I think can connect with me as a sad single person (laughs) rather than a sad person in a relationship. And I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe this is somehow more on brand for me is to be single. Good for the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was this hidden thing that a a month after being single, I was like, oh, this, I guess this kind of works for me in a way so I can use it while I can. But um, yeah, I mean, who who dumped who? I I mean, it was, I want to say it was as mutual as possible. Um, But I I would say that one thing I will say is that I think the relationship was over before it actually ended. Um, and that that was kind of something on both ends. I think there were a lot of things that went into it, but um, it it in in retrospect, we were operating as two people who were really close friends, and the and the romance part of it really fell away. Um, Are you still close friends now? 
I would say we're friends. I don't it's know. It's kind of hard to stay it's, close. It's friends, really hard right? to stay yeah. close. It, right after the breakup, there's like an ebb and flow of like, we really want to be close, but then you continue being close. And it's like, uh, maybe this actually isn't good for us because all we're doing is continuing a relationship in a way that we're also trying to move out of. So then it fully goes to the other side of the pendulum and you don't talk for a few weeks and then someone's mad at someone. So then you go back to, oh, we're both apologizing. And then you're in a cycle of, we're just back in our relationship, just talking a little less than we used to. So um, I would say I would say we are friends and anytime we see each other, it's, it's um, I mean, he was at the Oscars too. We try to keep it very um, friendly, very civil. I'm still friends with a lot of his friends. He's still friends with mine. And that's something I would like to keep ideally, but I know a lot of emotions and feelings are involved. So if it ebbs and flows, I can't blame either of us. How long ago was the breakup? We broke up in um, December. In December. So it's fresh. It's, per- it's relevant. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it definitely is. Broke up in December and then let everyone know in January. Um, so we kind of like took a month to process it with ourselves and with That's our friends. Smart. That's a smart idea. Yeah, because I knew if I started uh, seeing all the other opinions on it, it would just fuck with my own pro- uh, my own uh, grieving process with it. Um, and it still does make it tough, but I think taking that month was helpful. Do you think the like pressure of you guys having to perform on social media affected the relationship at all? Yeah, I think that was definitely like a huge part of it because if if we like we became this big couple on TikTok when we had only been dating for a few months and I remember we like celebrated our year anniversary and I made a really nice video and everyone was like you've only been together for a year and I'm like yeah guys like you started telling us if we broke up love like you wouldn't believe in love at like the eight month mark like it was (laughs) it was really early on that you guys put that there was a lot of pressure on us and obviously at the year mark things were still going great but it was just funny that it's so quickly the internet can fall in love with someone that they meet maybe a week before and put all of the stock into them because everyone is just looking for connection, whether that's in their real life or online. And social media has made it mostly online. So um, I would say the, the pressure made it tough because anytime we were fighting, it was like, well, we can't, I mean, if, uh, this isn't something I feel like that will be shared with the world that can't be shared with the world. I can't, we can't show people that this is like a crack in what's going on because there's this picture of us. Um, and, and that would occasionally get, I think in both of our heads, I remember there was a time we were, um, our Valentine's, one of our Valentine's day brunches, we were at catch LA and we got into a little bit of like an argument and I started crying at the table and we were at one of those tables that like faces everyone (laughs) thank god i had sunglasses but i was just like i went to the bathroom and i was like please just get this out of me before we go like i was texting a friend i was like i'm out i can't start crying because there (laughs) there was a table right next to us that had just recognized us as like you're our favorite couple i'm like and here i am fucking crying at the at the brunch table right and so uh we left early I went down, um, out of the, uh, like down that elevator and out the stairs that we all know. And again, and this, at this point I'm sobbing under my sunglasses and like a group of girls is like, Oh my God, like my favorite couple. And they can't see that I'm crying. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, for sure. (laughs) I I love you guys so much. Uh. But like, I mean, that can't help, but to be like, I, I feel like in a way without the world knowing this, I was being a little gaslit um, and I don't blame anyone for this, but I was being a little gaslit by the fact that everyone's consistently telling me I have this amazing thing. I have, I'm in the best relationship ever and I'm in so much pain during some parts of it. Very unhealthy. And so, yeah. And so I get I, my, my mind gets so fucked up because I'm like, I'm like having a panic attack in the car after that crying, being like everything, like we are in such a horrible spot and yet everyone who I'm just passing is telling me how lucky I am. And so that was definitely, that was a really tough moment for us. And that was, that was long before the breakup. You know, we would have 
many times when it, it then would get better and we would communicate and things would go well, just as any relationship goes in and out. But I mean, that, that I think back to that moment a lot as something that really kind of shattered something in me of realizing how social media can infiltrate your life in, in a tough way. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad you came on. Always interested oh, yeah. to learn about all these TikTok, cele TikTok celebrities and moving forward. It sounds like you're just continuing to grow. So best of luck. Um, you guys got anything else for Chris? Um, no, man. Just keep killing it. Thanks for coming on, dude. Thank yeah, you for thank coming you on. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you. Thanks for coming on, Chris. Laundry sauce. Listen, fellas, your laundry dirt is better. Meet Laundry Sauce, the world's first designer detergent made specifically for guys. At LaundrySauce.com, you'll discover a better way to muck your laundry. Laundry Sauce Premium Simply Used Laundry Parts are made with bold fragrances that will have you smelling amazing. Soulful scents like Australian sandalwood give your laundry an exotic blend of deep amber and smooth suede. Siberian pine leaves your laundry with the fresh juniper and oak moss aromas of the Soviet forest. Their carefully crafted detergent just doesn't smell great. It's gentle in your clothing. Every order of Laundry Sauce comes with 69 premium pods per box. Yes, yeah, 69 of them. Um, join the new generation of modern men who know there's way around the laundry room. If you want to start buzzing out there, then scale up your laundry game by going to LaundrySauce.com. Use promo code BFF for 10% off your next purchase. Okay, uh, continuing along with BFF, special two guests in this episode. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Welcome, Lauren. Lauren Gray. Hi. Wait. Did you say hi or did, yeah. could I couldn't hear? Oh, yeah. All right. I didn't yeah, hear. I said hi. <laughs> and um, I noticed what you noticed, Bree. We just had Chris Olson, gay oh, guy, God, mm -hmm. on the couch. Josh was wearing like a raggedy t shirt. Yep. Okay. It wasn't and, raggedy. I still have it on. It's a Pokemon t shirt and it's he sick just as fuck. appeared and got all dolled up. When yeah. I put on a hoodie. Up. Got all dolled up for you, Lauren. Hoodie. I put on a hoodie for you, Lauren. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. What's up? <laughs> what are you laughing at over there, Brian? Oh, nothing. We just said you <laughs> you knew Lauren was coming over. You, you threw on that new special fit for her. Nah, it's just cold in my house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I literally, Brie, when you laughed, like, I knew exactly what you were laughing <laughs> yeah about. i did too that's why i fucking threw on the headset and i was like what the fuck are you laughing at brianna <laughs> like we had a 10 minute switch break it was gone it's like where'd josh go oh he's doing a full wardrobe change. i'm sure yeah, he got a lot a lot more like, cologne on too no i got like you know like a shake going yeah like, i was drinking that and then i was like oh it's chilly did a couple push-ups yeah, I got a little like, like yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> I got a pump before she showed up. Yeah. 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 So, no. Lauren, you're obviously a huge star. 54 million uh, followers on TikTok, 22 million on Instagram, YouTube, 3.77. Huge. Um, one of the biggest people out there. You two know each other. We tried to find out how well you knew each other <laughs> last week. Yeah. Um, because who said there was a report that Josh is all over Lauren at some party? It's I don't know if it was I, I was all over her. I think it was a mutual <laughs> all over each other. I think it was a, du a Dumois. That's what it said. Yeah. That's what it said. I'm not I saying found it. either worry, happened. I found it's it. Uh, Dumois posted a Sunday spotting saying Josh and Lauren were all over each other ah, when they were in Vegas. Right. Josh's arm around Lauren. If we can jump to it, just so we set the stage before we get into everything else. Yeah, you know yeah, set well the stage. Know each other. I asked whether you were hooking up with her. Josh, this is your answer. Are you playing a video? Yeah, we're going to play what you said last week. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 Did you hook up with Lauren Gray? We, like, hung out and shit. Okay, but... yes. That's a yes. <laughs> nah, no, I didn't. Bro. Well, that would be the answer, though. Words did... in my mouth. Well, did you hook up with Lauren Gray? No, I didn't. That was not your first answer. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was like, nah, we hung out. <laughs> No. I just I don't want to like I don't want to like Mark you know, Markel. All right, so you obviously the know the story, story because shit. Markel keeps reacting. So what do you know, Markel? <laughs> yeah, I'm over do here you know? doing damn gymnastics, eh? <laughs> what do you know, Markel? That is a good question. Is someone gonna say what's going on right now? I'm always on the outside of these. You got a big smile, Bree. <laughs> I don't what know. the fuck? Clue me in. Tell the old man what's happening. That's a crazy video. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's what I just said, yeah. yeah. Lauren, did you guys hook up? Um, I don't know anything about that. All right, so that's a yes. That's a yeah. double yes. I don't we know can anything about confirmed. that. Confirmed. Confirmed. All right. No wonder he got changed getting into the episode. Are you guys, <laughs> guys. still, like, hanging out? 
No. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. No, it's like this Vegas. is adorable. It's a time thing. <laughs> Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. You know. All right. Yeah. What Vegas, what, Vegas yeah. stays in Vegas. Fine. Vegas yeah. is crazy place. Um, anyways, Vegas. how did we get you on the show? Was it Josh? No. I, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I, I woke up this morning and I got a text from Austin and then he was like, hey, Lauren's going to come to your house today. No, yeah, we I, did, was, we tell Josh. I was on a flight yesterday coming back from Philly and they were like, oh, you got to go on the podcast in the morning. I was like, oh, cool. So awesome. Thanks again. Yeah, Josh doesn't help us with guests at all, even though you guys. Well, I guess I he kind of did. Because if you didn't hook up, Yo, you want to be here? I, I, no, no I but I come. like how you're thinking, Lauren. I, I like come. how you're thinking. Yeah. Thank you. What were you? Oh, are, were you in Philadelphia? Because that's where you're from? Yeah. So you're just visiting family? I love Philadelphia, by the way. Yeah, I was visiting family. I haven't been in a while, so it was good to see all my friends and stuff. So you are one of, in, in, I would put in like the Josh category. Have you guys known about each other for a while? Because you are Musical.ly, right? Which is where Josh came from as well. Oh, I, mean, I know. I love Josh's music, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I, I, I first I first <laughs> knew Lauren, I think, like in like before way before I did social media, probably like eighth grade because she got like roasted by rice gum. <laughs> and I really liked rice gum when I was younger. And then also she was like, I mean, she was like one of like the hot girls online when I was in grade eight, too. So yeah. why did you get bullied? What like what was that? Why'd rice gum do that? Um, because I was out of pocket for sure. Yeah. What'd you do? Um, I just said some out of pocket things. That's what I do. I was 13 and from Philly and thought I was hard. And she was live streaming. I was live streaming. Is that what happened? I don't I think even so. I, I think you were on like you now or whatever is what I recall. Yeah. I was out of pocket, but we, we made up. We're friends. So, I mean, not friends, but we're cool. It's all right. Got it. So how long have you been like u- uber famous for? I mean, 54 million TikToks, ridiculous. 22 Instagrams, ridiculous too. Very ridiculous. I don't know if I would say uber famous, but I started what level of fame? when I was 13. What, all right. Do you th- well, how long? Uh, when I was 13, so like seven years. Pre, is she uber famous? Yeah, I would say so. You're like one of the first people to do it. I, even though Charlie has like, like the new TikTokers have more, like hundreds of millions, I would still say a lot of people that know Charlie would know who you are. 100%, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, just look at the numbers. I don't know how it, how it really can't be. So, and you, you're dealing with, like, when I go look through all this stuff, you have partnerships with Opali, Burger King, Revlon, Guess. What's the Burger King one about? You wouldn't strike me as the most obvious That, that was Burger a one-off. King. I don't know why that made it to the, to the sheet. That was oh, like, a, it was like oh. a one-time thing. But ah, see, what you'll we learn didn't here say is it. a lot of things <laughs> make it to the sheet that we don't know why I, they make it I to the sheet. I did get the sheet when I was on the plane, and I was like, oh, this is... Yeah, this is some really random information. We send you the sheet? Um, I got it. I don't know yeah. how she got the sheet. Because I said, I said, what are we talking about? Why? What are we talking about? And what do you mean you don't know how she got the sheet, Austin? We yeah, what did we have we like some like... I didn't get the sheet. I got topics. Yeah, we sent topics. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I, know what, I know what's being talked about. Is our about. Like, sheet being sold on the black market or something? Before yeah, I bought Apple's? it. That'd so, be crazy. And I mean... You've been on a cover of Harper's Bazaar, Glamour, singing. How would you describe yourself? I'm going through everything. I see you singing. I see you modeling, um, all sorts of stuff. Like what if you if someone was trying to explain you to somebody like me, how would you describe yourself? Because you look like you're singing and modeling in actually a couple of these photos. You see yeah. that, Dave? It's like singing I on do. the runway. That That's was that was a yeah, that was a can do it all. Can I yeah. see it? Can we have the video? I want to watch this. Oh God! What video? Do you find it cringy to watch yourself singing, or are you? Yes, like, I do. Yes, I do. Absolutely, find it so. Oh cringy. well, then cover your eyes, I guess. Let's see what we got yeah. here. Oh. I do look good gotta watch the whole thing or okay. you look oh, fire just, in that just, that's a good just, video um okay so a i was shitting my pants um in that moment and because i was in front of a bunch of people that um like peers and yeah hey, what's up man um i was in front a of a bunch of peers right now so. yeah, it was awesome and um there was a there was a dead zone in the middle of the runway where i couldn't hear myself so yeah that's the thing with in-ear monitors and you know runways aren't really built for you know, singing. So yeah, I was shitting my pants. And I was really nervous. And yeah, you can, you can tell. No, I can't tell. I In fact, I was going to ask, were you lip singing or is that real singing? 
No, I was singing over the track. So I was singing and the track was there. Got it. And then I had like a dude that was mixing it live, but we were also dealing with like the, the dead zone problem. So that that's closer to lip singing than real singing. No offense, right? Like that's what if if someone's lip singing at a concert, isn't that what they're doing? And that's not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. That's what I would expect on a runway like that because yeah, of what it is. I mean, I mean, kind of the track is there to help you because you know it's live and yep. But that was Opal. I am not about to sing fully live because if you could hear the shaking over. The- well, that's what. It, yeah, that. Yeah. It, that would be a wild thing to try to do at that. At that. Like for that type of thing. Yeah, was I was doing what I do best. I was lip syncing. That's what I do best. <laughs> was that was that Opali? No, that was Sherry Hill. Gotcha. Yeah. And you have your own collection already for. Oh, Polly, I'm looking at right now. So, well, again, it's fashion, it's music, it's everything. Yeah, I guess everything. Have you been want? Did you want to do this from an early age, or did you just stumble into? No, it? no, I didn't. I actually, um, like a, a few months before my musically stuff happened, I was in the car with my mom, and I was telling her I never want to be famous. I was like, I never want to be famous. I would hate to have everyone in my business. And my mom was like, Now you will be. I think she manifested that for me, and then I just kind of got thrown into it. <laughs> do you have any brothers or sisters? I have a sister who is 28. Interesting. Because I always like, I don't, again, I'm from Boston. So I'm in Bree is also from Boston. We're both like kind of East coast people. So Philly, like, again, I love that city. They're all scumbags. I say that affectionately, <laughs> like affectionately, like they're just rough and tumble people. The best people. type of scumbags. Yeah, yeah. You don't think of them as like TikTokers and doing the things that you're doing. So it's an yeah. interesting jump from that area. Um, your first ever music video, you partnered with Guess. Again, pretty impressive. Big time stuff. Big time stuff. You don't How gotta did, hype me up the whole time. You can ask. You can ask me something juicy. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm going through. I trust me. I'm <laughs> going right through like the sheets. You're you're going to Coachella. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm performing at Coachella. Is it public? Like what day with who? Um. So I have a song with uh, Lost Kings, who are like a DJ group, and yeah, I'm going out for that. I've performed with them uh, before, so this yeah, is, no. but this is obviously a bigger deal. We invented the Lost Kings. Oh, really? Yeah, really. All like right. one, one of our guys, Caleb Presley, is like super friendly with them, and he used to just tote them around and get like unlimited free barstool advertising because he they were like friends of the program. But we've known about them literally for like ten years. Yeah, they're great guys. It's why, and I'm not trying to like throw you softballs, but how did you end up in Taylor Swift's video, The Man? Um, honestly, I don't even I don't even know how I ended up in it. I was told that I was being in a music video for someone that I will be really excited over, and I when I got there, I then I learned it was Taylor Swift, and I was very excited. And I'm the biggest fan of her. She's the sweetest person in the world. But the entire time that I met her, she was in full prosthetics as a man. So I never actually met her as herself. I only met her in, in oh, full prosthetics. Weird. Yeah. That, that is weird. really weird. Yeah. Did and, she know who you were? Uh, yeah. So we're from the same town. And I was like, I was really excited that she knew that. I was really happy. Um, but yeah, they, I, I never met her as her. And I was really surprised because I thought that she was the stuntman and then she came up to me and it was her voice and she was like, thank you so much for doing this. And I was like, I shit my pants. Okay. Seems like now, you end up shitting your pants a lot. I do. I really do. It happens a lot. Yeah, you need know. a diaper. Yeah. Okay, so now we're back into the, the trip, which I jumped ahead in Josh's trip to Vegas. Um, <laughs> two days. So you guys had a, a two-day rendezvous? <laughs> is that what it was? Two-day romance? I mean, it, it was, you know, like the after-party event was two days. Yeah. So, so real talk then, if you're both in the same city, why haven't you hung out anymore? Unless you're lying about that. Um, I mean, I've been she in went Philly. to Philadelphia. So are you going to hang out more? I mean, probably, I, I, I'm sure I, I, we'll I run know. into each other. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. At some point. We'll hang out. Bree, you got to help me with these juicy questions. Like you're my TikTok <laughs> girl. You're just sitting there. Look, I like there has to be more, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It seems like it was uh, what happened in Vegas, stayed in Vegas. It feels like you guys but, aren't. You guys aren't yeah. going to continue this. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm a single girl for the first time in a long time. And who is your boyfriend? Who is your ex? Oh, my God. Don't even worry about yeah, it. who is your ex? Don't even worry about it. Is he not a known person? <clears throat> no, no. Draco season with the book bag. Oh, God. Terrible. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know means. what that Terrible, means Terrible, awful. I Say do. that again, Josh. <laughs> I, do. I said Draco season with the book bag. Nope, still don't get it. Am I stupid? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, all it's a thing. It's all good. Let's just keep moving yeah, on. Yeah, let's keep moving. Um, People like, oh, we'll get it, we'll get it. 
Anyway, yeah. New, so we hate the ex. We hate the ex. You, we don't hate him. We don't. Sounds hate like him. we hate him. I um, actually don't even know who he is. I don't how exactly. Lo- how long was the relationship? Uh, two years. And when did oh, it end? Shit. Um, because I'm not here to mother anyone's sons. I'm not here. He had kids. He no. had kids. Yeah, I guess no, she he was basically mine. So she, he Got was like it. a baby. She was, uh, she was being his mother. When yeah. did it end? When did the relationship um, end? I think like, uh, I want to say like end of January. Oh, so kind oh. of fresh. Yeah, yeah. So he's not but liking seeing you and Joshua. That no. that it, would suck. He yeah. actually, um, yeah, he un- unfollowed my Finsta and, and stopped sharing his location with me after I got back from Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, uh, valid. Because, because, because. Okay, I once I once I'm done, I'm done, and that's just kind of the way it goes. And he did reach out, and I did not answer. And then, it, yeah, I mean. Wait. So who is he? Um, his name's Kyle. Kyle. He's just a normal Kyle. dude. Does he hate TikTok? He's not. He's like a social media like guy. No, no, no. He made uh, he made music a while back. Um, and I'm not trying to hate on him because like it just didn't work out. We're in we're in different places and. Um, it was on its way out for a while, but got it. I'm not trying to hate on him. He's a, yeah, he's a nice guy. Shout out Kyle. Nice guy. Kyle. Yeah. I mean, you hate it on him a little bit, but I we'll hate it on him a little bit, a little but that's, bit. that, that is why the relationship, everyone thinks he cheated on me. Um, I, he, I mean, I don't know. I don't think so, but, um, yeah, it just, it wasn't in the cards for us. What is the point of a Finsta? Ah, good question. What is the point? Good yeah, what is the well, point? Of okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you None. what I. I'll tell you what I use it no for. Point. It's not even for my friends. I I have it to because I don't use like private stories or any of that. So I like to look back and see everything that I was doing that month because. So I'm you not. don't want to over post on your main? Is that the, is that what? Yeah, you mean? and some things don't need to be posted on the main. So but how many like people follow account, your Finsta? Yeah. Like five. Five Literally? people follow your Finsta? Yeah, I told you it's for me. Oh, don't you have like a, don't you have like multiple Instagram accounts too? Yeah, I do. I don't know why. Fucking weird. So you were involved in this Bryce Hall cheating prank that didn't work, Lauren Gray. Uh, You had the boyfriend at the time. You tried to pretend you guys were dating, had a paparazzi. (laughs) This is obviously Bryce's idea, right? Of course. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah. I've known, I've known Bryce a long time. So I was, I was open to it and I got Addison's approval at the time. I don't know. That's like not cool to talk about, but yeah, I got her approval and it was good. No, I think that is fine to say you got her approval. What do you? What? How would you rank? We should have had this on there. I'm just doing it. How rank the Sway Boys? Like I don't even know who, who the Sway Boys are. Like yeah, you who do. is in? No, who's in the collective? There's, <laughs> no, it's no. confusing. So the Sway Boys would be like Bryce, obviously Josh, Noah, Blake, Griffin. Um, Griffin. Yeah. Dude, 90% of these dudes have girlfriends. Why would I rank them? 90. What does that mean? You can you can object. I think, I think right right only Except Blake Noah. and Noah. Noah, Blake. Oh, Noah and Blake. Yeah. And uh, Anthony. Anthony. Okay, so just rank uh, Josh, Griffin, and Bryce. Oh, good <laughs> Not job. Not the photo. And, yeah, uh, that's such an old photo, um, guys. Those are, uh, those are fire hoodies. Those are like retro sway. Yeah, you like oh those? I kind of like them. Thanks, man. Thank you. This is a good picture. Um, I can't really see, but I, um, I don't know Griffin at all. I've never met Bull, so. Uh, my hair's so fucking. Do I have to? Do photo? I? Have are are to we ranking? Are we? Are you? Is she ranking the hotness of them? Is that yeah. Keo? Okay, so yeah, rank With the, the hotness bottom of those left. Three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, bottom left. Is all right, Keo. I can't put him in there. He's dating my girl Amanda. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Silvana fucking yeah. loves that girl, and I don't know who she is, but she. I, I, love I always her. send her to Silvana and say, "This looks like you." Amanda's Amanda's like pretty dope girl. She's funny as fuck. Yeah, she's really sweet. She has I think they energy, talk on vibes. like TikTok. I don't. Yeah, like, no. Amanda's the best. She's very nice. Yeah, Silvana's yeah. a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan. Keo's cool, but I love Amanda. Um, who's behind the camera? I don't know who that is. Oh, Quentin. I don't. I don't know what he looks like because his face is covered. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, oh, okay. Jaden, don't know him. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know him. Um, we don't know him. Um, so you, you, this game is just, I don't know him. I can't rank yeah. him. I, I, but I feel like, like I'm right. a personality person. Josh, I'll put you first. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Doc. yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. That was a long way around. Are I you guess, guys hanging out after the show? Honestly? <laughs> nah, Josh doesn't answer. Really? Ooh, is he playing hard to get? Yes. 
Joshy, what are you doing? You're fumbling Dude, the bag. Guys, I just suck at texting. I just truly do. I'm just not. How many times guy. have you texted him without a response? <laughs> Once. Yeah, exactly. I think we had a total of like two messages. Yeah, it's not my fault. I just sometimes take like a day or two. Sorry. You know? Sometimes that's I'm crazy, my man. Dog. Sometimes I'm like taking a shower. Shit just happens. You know what I that's mean? That's so a well terrible excuse. Yeah. What do you mean? You're always you on your shower, phone. So that's you your re job. You respond for a day? That's nuts. Yeah, I just, that I, is a good point. When I'm, I'm on phone. my phone, I do like my social media shit. And then I'm like, God, I don't want to be on my phone anymore. I want to go do something else. So is how that, do you go about planning doing something else? I, I just go do it. Okay. It's, it's a crazy <laughs> theory, but like I just, you it can really do whatever theory. you want in life. Lauren, when did you last text him without a response? I don't know. Like I days? Day, I think the, yeah, I think the day I got to feel like Oh, fuck to, him. No offense, Josh. You're my oh. guy, but like. Yeah, what the fuck? It was, it was maybe two days and I was like, oh, my bad. I didn't see this. And then I answered. And so. then you didn't know. Okay. The only reason you answered is because you found out she was coming over for. No, 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 that's not true. Because I texted, I texted before the podcast situation. Mm. I texted like two days ago or something. I was not about to double text. I was like, that's too much. But yeah. she thought about it for too sure. Much. She probably had it like typed out I, and was like, oh, I should I send it? I didn't even think it didn't cross my mind. Good, good. I wanted to be there. Coinbase. I've been talking about Coinbase now for like three weeks. Hopefully you did it because Bitcoin's running again. Coinbase is the trusted and easy to use platform where you can buy and sell all your crypto. Uh, I've bought like 29 coins. I'm checking right now. Last night I saw it was all the way up to 47. Uh, let me go on the app, see where we're at right now. This is a live reading. Um, yeah, 47,800. So it just keeps going up. They were the ones who did the Super Bowl commercial with the floating QR code, made headlines. You've been looking to level up your financial portfolio. It's always good to diversify. Why not think about crypto? Backed by the world's leading investors, Coinbase keeps your portfolio safe and secure while adding crypto to your mix. Coinbase offers a trusted and easy-to-use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. The user experience is top of the line, includes multiple resources to keep the user up to date in the crypto world. They support the most popular digital currencies on the market, make them accessible to everyone. That's obviously key. A lot of these places, you don't get the ones that run till it's too late. At Coinbase, they're on top of all the new coins. They offer portfolio management, protection, leading resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto in all one place. For a limited time, new users can get $10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at Coinbase.com slash Dave. Coinbase.com slash Dave. Sign up at Coinbase.com slash Dave for $10 in free Bitcoin. Be quadruple that if you listen the first time. This offer is for a limited time only, so be sure to sign up today. That's Coinbase.com slash Dave. All right, uh, we got a I bunch of headlines, lying. and we just go through them. We'll give opinions, hopefully. Headlines? Yeah, yeah, headlines. Like just They're like not necessarily your headlines. shit, just like shit that's going on in oh, fun. the world. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. it's fun. Um, so YouTuber discloses worst person in bed. Charlie Jordan, Harry Jones, Bryce Hall, and Eva Gutowski film Truth or Drink video. Now a clip is going viral of Eva replace, revealing the worst person she slept with. Um, okay, let's see the video. I don't know who Eva is. I know everybody else, but let's see the video. I got oh, say. My worst influencer in bed award goes to... Oh. Why did you look at me, Charlie? I did it! I did it! I swear to God! Um, we know who this answer is. No, we don't. Go Tell me. <laughs> Drink or answer it! I don't want to do that to him. Say it. Wow. If anything, anyway. it'll only motivate him to get better. Yeah, he'll be more focused. we will have a focus game. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it. Okay. I'm gonna say Brent. Because he lacks experience. That's all it is. That's all it is. He lacks experience. He can Whoa! Get there. What? It's, he can get there someday. Ouch. I know she did not do my boy like that. That's crazy. You are friends with Brent. I am friends with Brent. Aww. That's crippling. There's no <laughs> way for that. Yeah, you don't say that. You take a drink. That's Aww. horrible. You take, take a, a little drink. sip of wine that and guy. like savor the guy's life for the rest of time. Yeah, that was a little yeah. fucked up. That's so fucked up. You, you, you don't come back from that. No. You can't. It's simply impossible. Unless you just got to prove yourself. Brent. You got to prove her I wrong. I don't know how much like, yeah, experience, <laughs> I guess, but like. You kind of are what you are to a degree. There's Damn. always room for, um, yeah. There's always room for improvement, and I believe in I believe in you, Brent. 
I would like go to therapy. Like I, I don't. Guys, whatever. That's that's a tough mean. That you really can you say anything meaner about somebody? No, you no, can't. No, that's that's evil. You can't. That's you evil. Can't. That would hurt my feelings to the max. Yeah, imagine he said that about her. Oh, such a, a sight! Like oh, she yeah. would cry her eyes. You're out. friends with him. You're friends with this guy. Me? Yeah, I've been friends with Brent for a long time. Do you want to like shoot him a text? Be like, Yo, yeah, I you heard good? Like the no, that's even more ever. embarrassing. Like maybe uh, I, I think he needs somebody. Let's all get. Know. Let's make Yo. every listener gas him up in his comment section. Comment section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah everyone love. that's listening right now, go comment Send on him some love. and say you got good dick game. <laughs> go comment on his stuff and say you got good dick game. That's oh my even God, a Brent Rivera comment section. How's that worse? Because it's tough. Because it's not true. No, he oh. knows it's not true. And you could tell the way she said it. She knew she was telling the truth. But I, I maybe would rather get hit over the head with a baseball bat, <laughs> if I'm being honest, than hear that. Um, not that it's not true. It's just you don't need to hear it like publicly. Right. Uh, and maybe it was just an off day. Maybe it was an off day. Could have been an off day. Yeah. There cramped. is, yeah. I'm, you pretty, get I'm pretty sometimes. sure they like dated. Dehydration. You know oh, Brie. Bree, you're making it worse. Sorry, it was never I official. Mean, it was they were never officially dated, but like they yeah. were clearly hooking up. So I think it was more than uh, once. I'm sorry, I'm so bored it's vomiting. Like multiple Poor times. <laughs> it's multiple Just times. a house girls react to Mads on BFF. So Mads is on the show last week. Um, Emma McAllister, Anna Shoemate, and Sabrina Caseda posted TikToks on their burner TikToks. What does that fucking mean? It's burner probably like TikToks? a fucking. Finsta, it's like their finsta TikTok, like their TikTok, finsta but public. TikTok. Well, that's stupid. I have um, one of those too. You have a why? What's of the point? Course. If you're on it, what's the because point? Because sometimes Everyone I get does. insecure, and I'm like, I get insecure about posting things on, like, really out there. So I just put it on my little second one. But how many? Like, if you're on it, you're wildly famous on TikTok, so people see it, and then you share it, and it goes. Yeah, Shh. it's just not. It's on a little me. less. It's a little less intimidating. Okay. Um, let's see what they said. Emma McAllister. Uh, I'm gonna just say Smiley because every time I see her, she's always got like a big smile on her face. I've only ran into her like three times in my life, but why are you being silently? She was in your house. She was in your house. I don't, I don't even know. know her. Oh, that's not bad. And by the way, Mads reached out to me because she didn't want to trash anybody. She's like, "Can you beep out?" their names i'm like you didn't say anything it's gonna seem worse if you put a beep on it because she didn't say anything she didn't trash yeah. any of them she was just yeah. kind of silent and i guess um people defended mads by saying she didn't say anything so uh it, it they actually deleted it the girls who made the videos then deleted oh really yeah yeah, yeah they I'm, so I think, conf I'm confused by it i i think the thing is with our clips obviously bffs knows like the people that make these clips know what the fuck they're doing and it's like we create these clips where it's like they're edited so if you don't go and watch the full video you're like oh shit they probably did speak shit about me you know what i mean or they probably did say something and it's like of course you make the clips like that it gets viewers to go watch the podcast but when people actually watch the videos i feel like the podcast is so much like there's just sometimes like you think there's gonna be shit talking there really isn't no, I, I feel like we really don't for the most part. Shane Dawson's having a child. <coughs> Wait, what? What? Yes. Well, happen? he's not physically a man can't, but I assume right. they're adopting. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, I think it's via surrogate, right? Yeah. Sh yeah. Shane has been fairly quiet the past few years after canceling for various things, including a sketch he made that he says he fucked his cat years prior. He's apologized. Um, okay. That's crazy that he said that. So I guess imagine, it was imagine like living in a world where you had to, you have to tweet out, "I didn't fuck my cat. I didn't come on my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat." And and there's more. There's more where that comes from. I'm not. There's a threat. Rest, yeah, but, but I love. Like, I'm very like, happy for Shane and uh, Ryland. I hope that he comes on the show in the summer. Yeah. Me too. Think Good he'll bring on his baby. Yeah. Josh Clout farming. X Games mode after Mads Bree and Lauren Gray. Congrats, Lauren. Josh Thank is you. clout farming yet again with Ellie Zeeler, Keo, and Amanda D Diaz saying you're on a double date. People yep. are quick to point out, point out that Eli Ellie has a boyfriend, so Josh was talking about him on a double date with Keo and Josh. Like to comment saying that. Yep. True. So you are third wheel? Yeah, I was kind of... Well, actually, Ellie doesn't have a boyfriend. I don't think that's true, but... Um, no, yeah, it was just like we were fucking bowling or something. It was oh, just, wait, was know. she there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so she actually doesn't have a boyfriend. No, she doesn't. Uh, yeah, I think from her comment that says nah on the picture below. I'm just looking at the sheet. You didn't, did you What's try to slide TikTok? on Ellie? 
No, 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 no. It was just like we were like. See, that's how you answer, by the way. Yeah, that's that, that was like, a wrong. You, like well, a now I've had now I've had great PR practice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just uh, what's you. this TikTok? So let's see the TikTok about it from you. How you mad? She choosing me. I like what she do to me. She say she feels safer over here. This where the shooters be. She say ain't no paper up over there. Shit, she barely eating. And the caption was like double date, right? Mm -hmm. Got it. It was yeah. like you know a little cloud farm like did the same audio with like Mads or whatever after the pod like you know strategy. Yeah, of course. I went to Ultra. I don't know what that is, and I don't know what imitates BFFs is. Is that worth putting on there? What does that mean? Wait, you went to Ultra? Yeah, it was good. It's in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks pretty crazy. Like, yeah, it was. Uh, it is. Oh, what the got, fuck? Like, <laughs> how is this intro? How is this? <laughs> Yeah, Dave. Okay. Get it, Dave. Yo, nice, okay. Dave. Nice. You gotta leave that one in. Yeah. Yo, move it, Dave. M moving on. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that means. Imitates BFFs. Me, like, I think we're because last week. I we think you're uh, intimate. Uh, yeah, you're. You know, uh, me and uh, Brianna. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bree, <laughs> we talked about this. You moving to LA. Yeah, I think I. Woo, I think woo, I'm woo, 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 so are we gonna do the podcast? Like you, you two will be together. We'll have. I like, would assume I would just go over to Josh every yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah. Videos to react to. Video one. It's gonna be very dangerous for me when Brianna moves here. Yeah, I'm gonna ruin your life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this video. <laughs> so this is Cardi B on the teacups and our security guard just staring. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that is See, so funny. We needed the context. That is yeah, so I watched yeah. that like a thousand times when he's I first just saw it. Chilling. Because he's full <laughs> patrol. Like I don't yeah. even know what he'd do if someone like you, I, you can't get jump up and out. jump on the jump up. Nah, yeah. he'd figure it out. He'd figure it out. Trust me. Very funny video. And then the second, uh, I don't know what this is. Let's go to the second one. You really want to do? That's your dream project. Oh my I got my video. book, of course. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me about the well, I don't want to give too much of it away because I am very superstitious, superstitious. So I don't I don't like to speak of things before they're finished. Um, but it's um, so far a masterpiece, if I do say so myself. So I hope that is it fiction so. is it a memoir? No, it, it's um, you know, it was going. It was like a memoir at first, but now it's just like my first book. You know. Okay. So yeah, that'll be coming out soon. I love her. I don't care. I, that I dress. I think it's sick. Sneaky fire. It's sick. Sneaky fire. Hey, hey, Dave. Yeah, you don't want to be, but it's like. I think it's super freaky. So cool. Okay. And she's so, so funny. Do you think she knows what she's doing? Yes. Got to. Or, uh, or, she, or she's just in uh, a K hole. No, I don't think she's self aware, actually. I do not think so. I think she is literally just crazy. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. That's my I take. Know. I think she's a, she's, she's a little bit just, you know, she's got a little Kanye in her. Well, she didn't talk like that. She had she, a little Kanye. She did have a yeah. little Kanye in her. Oh, she did. But she's like, she's doing that voice after it went viral. She's like making it more yeah. now. It almost seems a little more dramatic now, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I, I live for the eye, the eye look. Somebody I saw that was um, a very funny tweet. Somebody's like, she said that she did her own makeup and someone was just like, you don't say. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Could have guessed right, that one. <laughs> Before, Two before, games before, for before you? that, there is a third video to react to. Um, I pull it up. Huh. Speaking Not on the sheet, which always means something. Yeah, is, my, my no, heart was, always this drops. A, this was a real time just, one. It's, speaking of, it's related to burner TikToks, so though. I thought it would be interesting to pull up. Oh, my God. Oh, it's the only thing that's left to say. What a shame. No! What a shame. So that was posted after Josh and Mads were posting a okay, lot of things. Okay, that, that was video. unintentional. That was unintentional. I've we got tagged nothing. in a bunch of I have nothing. Hmm. Nothing hmm. wrong with Mads. Hmm. Nothing wrong with her. She did unfollow me. Don't know why. Oh, but shit. When did she unfollow you? Wow. I don't this know. Crazy. I don't at, know. Look at this. Good job, Austin. I don't know. And I nice, don't Austin. That is a good you job. For a second, that's the oldest TikTok. You guys oh, talk please. so directly at each other. I know. You're like, oh, silly, bro. Had nothing to do Ooh, with it. about them? Yeah. Okay. No, that was that just was total not. coincidence. Of course. Then who was it towards? Huh? Who was it towards? Why does that have to be towards someone? It's Why can't I just look cute on my burner? Like, oh. She likes, and then and then Mads unfollows you. I yeah, mean, I don't, yeah. This is. I I I didn't. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, she unfollowed me. How many people are right. on the burner account? 
Boston. Well, that's just a burn of TikTok. It's probably like a million followers on that one. <laughs> makes so much. Makes no sense to post it there. Why won't you admit? <laughs> okay, that but that I, was posted, directed I posted. I posted several. I posted several. Well, hey, was it directed at me though? No. I it was several other TikToks. A lot of people thought that, that. We, got, we got a lot of tags in that one. Or did you do it to stir, uh, stir some drama up? Like you didn't really mean it, but you thought, oh, the people are going to think this. Maybe. You can clout farm. I can, hey, clout can you give me the timing? Can, of it? Wait, all right, you guys are in Vegas, what, Sunday? We were in Vegas Friday, Saturday, left Sunday. And when was that posted? Uh, I don't know. When I was in Pennsylvania. That would have been Monday after the Mads interview, and Josh and Mads started posting all of these thirst traps all over the internet. Yeah, with uh, with uh, Josh's head and Matt, Matt's crotch. That so was the, that was a moment. Guys, <laughs> that was a moment. So the, the case, Very much the, 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 I mean, case, the case closed. Is yeah. Closed. No, but I do, I do, I do want to apologize to Mads because I don't know, I don't know why she unfollowed me. Um, the girls are fighting. Can I take? Can I take a stab at that? I, Maybe. I can. I can you guess can. too. I can guess too. My guess, first based day. on the information that has been presented in the last like ten to fifteen minutes, was you hung out with Josh in the weekend. Josh is hanging out with Mads, making videos. You didn't like it. You say Josh should be with me. She takes I offense to that, that and unfollows you. That would be what okay. I guess happened. Okay, yeah. but I thought that wasn't a thing. Is it a thing? No, it's not. We but should, what does that have to do with you thinking it's a thing? Like, so because it if it's not a Josh. thing, then how would it apply? Because it's clearly a thing all the way around. If no, 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 no. But if you come, if you come out and say it's not a thing, then yeah. why you're saying would my, it's not a why thing. Why would my TikTok saying, to a very popular song? But you're saying song. it's not a thing. You're saying, I'm saying it's not it. a thing. I'm saying it. You're saying it yeah. is a thing. No, it, that what? It's not. Nah, this game's silly. We, we gotta bring back the Sienna May video guy to make a video on this. Ah, uh, <laughs> you know yeah. what? We do need to bring him out here. He would not. Right. Yeah, it's he, a he thing probably. all the way. You, uh, the unfollows, the follows. Obviously, girls always know. Guys that might have that might have been old uh, too. Like she might have just like not even, fucked with me anymore. And that's I didn't fine. even know y'all like unfollowed each other. That's crazy. I'm I fine. think I, I didn't know right either. Here. Guys, you're sounding stupid. Either. The case okay. is yes. closed. Yeah, case closed. Yeah, closed. Closed. Love you, Matt. Good job, Austin. Yeah. Um, we have two games for you. We okay. have rating Oscars looks and Mary Fuck Kill. So let's just put through. We'll do them both. Okay, so exactly. this one this one for the Oscars, we have their uh, outfits that they wore to the Oscars, and then we have their outfits that they wore to the after party, the Vanity Fair party. So we're going to rate them as a whole and then say which look was better. They, okay. they wear two outfits? Yeah. Pretty much everyone changed. What? I think I've, everyone changed, actually. And we'll go kind of quick because we got the two games. Yeah. Unbelievable. The unfollow. Yeah, Tough. that's wild. That hurt. That's like in social media. That's like that's that hurt. But then she yeah. added me on Snapchat. Oh, she wants yep, to talk. She probably talk I thought shit. she wanted to talk. Yeah, shit. Huh. You see that now? <laughs> yes. Shit. <laughs> shit. I, the left is better. She's awesome. Uh, left is better. I think right is better. is better. I think right is better for sure. Uh, One, like ten million better. percent better. Yeah. No, I like the like, hair down. The I like the hair up. Yeah, you see more of her face with her hair up. I just think it's better. Yeah, I mean, she's awesome, but left. I go left. Yep. I go right. right. See yeah, if the girls and guys right. split the whole time. Okay, Timothy left. Chalamet. Left. Right. Guys looking steez on the left. He, he's right. got balls because he's a skinny little thing. Yeah, <laughs> he's a, I know. He's that's a why I got to give him respect. You know what, though? That's, that's a look. That's why I'm giving him respect. He, that's a look. He like, looks he has hot. his look. Can I he tell you good. something? I thought he was dating um, Zendaya the entire time. No, that's Tom Holland. That's Tom Holland. I know. Different one. Different I thought they were one. both in Dune together. It took me quite a while to figure that out. They were both huh. in Dune together. This guy. He's in Timothy Dune. Timothy Chalamet was in Correct. Dune. Correct. I'm like, yeah, they're together and they're dating. Oh, yeah, I yeah, got yeah. Holland, Holland no. and this guy confused. I think the left looks better. It's Holland Spider-Man. I actually yes, like correct. left better a little. I'm yeah. going right, but I think I think maybe I just like the, the backdrop on the right better. Maybe that's what's drawing my attention. The lighting seems a little nicer. Yeah, he, I tell you, he's got balls. Like you, you got to mix. I think you have to mix in a few push-ups to go shirtless. Uh, girls like a, a skinny white boy. I'll tell you that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Billy Eilish. Right. 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 Yeah, I kind of hate both of them. Kind of. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Actually, I don't, don't hate on Billy Eilish. I I don't I'm hate. I love her. Billie. I just, just don't hate the love. outfits. The outfits. She it's always the wears the right. baggy stuff. Hasn't she said she doesn't want people ever, like, kind of looking at her body? No, she's yeah, switched it Yeah, I'm going to go up. left. I'm going to go left, though. Because the right just reminds me of, like, a shower cap. 
Yeah. Yeah, but so does the left a little bit. No, but at least it's like a dress. The other one's like, it literally reminds me of like a shower cap. <laughs> I like the, like the a, shoes on the like right. like a cute loofah. The black hair is a power move, though. I do love the black hair on her. Mm. I could never. Yeah, she has fire eyes. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, perfect. She does. Very captivating. Kristen Stewart. Yo. The left right. is kind of horrible. I might just go I right thought this you were going to say hoary. Oh, no. <laughs> I, li- I like, I like a hoary left. moment, but I don't like that. I like the left kind of. She wore shorts, which was kind of like talked about. But yeah. Wait, she's wearing shorts in that? Yeah, it's and shorts, left, not, yeah. A, not a skirt. I oh, kind of like that because the right, the right is very feminine, but the the left is like <sighs> boss bitch. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like Kristen Stewart. I like the right. Uh, Jada Pickett Smith. Left, I guess. The left is. I mean, how do you even move in that thing? It's like yeah, an entire it's village. It's so but it's cool. Kinda, it's kind of cool. I, yeah, I, I don't. I don't like either, and I don't like the Smiths, so I'm out on both. <sighs> oh shit. Don't like the Smiths out as a whole, the whole yeah, family. No, he's he's a Chris, Chris Rock, Rock rider. I'm a, I, I ride uh, a dive for Chris Rock. See, I'm, Did y'all talk about that already? Yeah, yes. we talked about it before. What'd you Man. think about it, though? I don't even know. I just love the memes that come out of it. Uh, fair. Fair. The enough. internet is very fast. There's songs to the yeah, whole I thing. Do you I like saw Will, that. Do you like Will Smith? Me? I yeah. like the movie I Am Legend. I actually watched that like two days ago. Have you guys met his kids? Aren't they kind of like around your age a little bit the girl's yeah. like an awesome singer isn't she oh so talented I, the only are. interaction i've had is is jaden messaged me a long time ago and asked said can we be pen pals um and i was like yeah and that's that how it. he that was his slide that's his move i guess yeah that's and a slide in yeah i think that's that a pretty it. good slide in it's different can we be pen pals <laughs> it kind of like it's like it opens the door to a mystery you know yeah it was definitely a mystery and then like nothing happened after that no. No That's letters. That's, no letters. That is mysterious. He never wrote me. Damn. Hmm. It's kind of like the notebook. You're getting left on red a lot. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, my responses are kind of like dry a lot of the time. I feel like I don't, I don't leave it open for much. Got it. Fair. Right. Left. Zendaya, right, yeah. What are you guys, kidding me? Right. I think right. She left. Lo- she looks like she's in Men in Black. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just kind of cool. She can do no wrong in my eyes, though. I, I you know, I don't hate the right. She always looks good, but it's like a good sell. But the left, I don't know. I like the left. Did Did you guys see the memes where it was like Zendaya, like on her phone texting? Like, yeah, right after, after the, the Will, Will Smith slap. shit, and she's like, "Hey, babe, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of Chris Wall Rock. The Oscars are wild. Wish you were here, XOXO." And yeah. then it's like this the picture of Tom Holland looking at the phone. They're my favorite couple ever. Not Courtney and Travis. Yeah, you mean Tom Holland? Yes. Yeah, right. uh, so yeah, okay, Courtney okay. and Travis. Left. Definitely left. Yeah. They're both kind of so just left. meh. I like her hair better in, in the right, but I like the outfit on the left. I, I, I agree, agree with that. I think yep. he looks way better on the left. Agreed. Yeah, yeah I agree He's with that. so cool but looking. That to me is not cool. That's like he's walking on the street and I cross and go to the other side. <laughs> right. Because you think like what? You're about to get like. Oh, I don't know. This guy's capable of anything with all yeah, those tattoos. Yeah, I think he You're looks right. cool. You like that, huh? Matrix-y. I do. What do you think of that look, Lauren? Which which one? Uh, the fully Just his tatted. look in general? The full tat. Um, it's definitely a little intimidating. Agreed. It's scary. But, I mean, it works. Rihanna's about to be there soon, I think. Yeah, I'm going to shave my head and tattoo my skull right before I move to L.A. That's sick. That's a move. Mm-hmm. Lily James. Uh, the left is, she looks, I left mean. Is so the left is so good. She looks so good. She's yeah. gorgeous. And hers, Pamela Anderson, is the my favorite thing in the world. She looks like she's like walking out of Victoria's Secret. Like She looks like she's walking out of heaven. Shoot. Yeah. Yep. She's yeah, I like the left. I like her makeup, I think, more on the right. Or the picture more. But left, I'll go left. Okay. The hair is great. The dress is great. Simi this Liu. is crazy. Is this a did joke? he just take? Did he, he just, just take took his off? shirt off? He just yeah. took, took his off shirt the white. Off. So he, he just, just took off the white. Took it off for the after party, which is kind of oh, like I don't hate that. Funny yeah, move. I like that. I In think that's funny. I like that move. Yeah, he looks way he cooler on the, the right. right. Yeah, he should have done the right the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, it looks, it looks kind of badass. Swatted. He could have been the guy that just didn't change. Yep. Respect. Yeah, that was baller. Zoe Kravitz. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. She's so pretty. I'd go right. right. She's so pretty. Yeah, she's yeah. beautiful. 
Right. Jessica. Right. Chastain? Agree. Uh, yeah, I like Jessica. Yeah. Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, the green looks really good. I don't know why, but when dresses like switch up at the waist, like kind of like prom, it throws me off a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, you mean the color? Yeah, like you know how it looks like the top and the yeah, bottom? Yeah. It looks like a prom dress. Looks a little tacky. Is that but, ombre? Is that what they call that thing on the left? Yes. Good job, Dave. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> that was good, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Meg you. Meg the Stallion. I go left. 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 That is so yeah, beautiful. Color. That color on Meg. She's, I love her. I'm in love with her, I think, actually. Did you download like that Bruno song she was in? Bruno Mars? No, Bruno Mars. Why they call me Bruno from Encanto. She like sang it at oh, the Oscars. Oh, no. I didn't it watch, was fire. I, I didn't watch the Oscars. It was fire. I'll download it after this. I, I heard you thought the Beyonce song sucked. I did. I Listen, be, and Beyonce people come for your throat if you I say she's I like also beehive. saw that. I also saw that. Yeah, they, no, they come for your fucking throat. She doesn't sing anymore. She like talks. Like sing. I'm falling asleep. Yeah. Okay. Go back to the roots, Beyonce. That's it. That's it. Okay. Oh, oh. or Maddie oh, Ziegler. Maddie Ziegler. Oh, she's so cute. Ooh, left. left. Yeah, she looks so good. Right. I like the one on the right. Okay. Oh, I'm like going that. right. I love black. I think she looks good in black. Is she the one from West Side Dance. Story? No, Dance Mom. Yeah, yes. she was Wait, in West Side Story. She was in West Side Story? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was. Yeah, there was controversy yeah. because she didn't oh, get damn. invited at first. She's very pretty, too. I guess it's the Oscars. Wait, she didn't get invited to the Oscars? No, she was very late. It was like super late. Even and though she, she was in the movie. Yeah, she took a dig at them on stage, actually. Good. Yeah. Okay, so Mary Fuck Kill will wind up the show with Mary Fuck Kill. This should be in it. Now, we generally try to pair people, make it a hard choice, so we'll see what we got. Oh, right, we have Lee Cantwell, <laughs> Ann Jeffrey, and Kyle Delora. So I'm assuming that's, oh, that's the Kyle. Kyle. Okay, that's so all of, all of my exes, beautiful. So I thought um, your ex was like not a known person. I mean, he doesn't really do social media, but I guess that's a recent photo too. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Ian um, in the middle, actually, that's James well. Charles. Isn't that brother. fucking Harvey? Isn't that Harvey? Yeah. That used to be like his thing, right? What? Yeah. Well, I, Wait. No, his Lake name is Harvey. Well. Why do they pick his? Why does it say Lake? Well? That's okay. his middle name. Oh. Uh, Wait. Ian Jeffrey is James Charles' brother? Yes. Yes. And you dated uh, this guy too? I sure did. How long ago? Is, isn't um, he? Is he straight? I would um, hope so. I. I, I believe so, but I'm not. I thought I, I only am saying that because I thought he posted something, or I thought I saw M something. Maybe he's he bi. He's gay Did now. I mean? Did right? you turn him gay? Probably. Gets left uh, on red. Uh, turning uh, these I guys be, gay. I could be so <laughs> wrong. I could be so wrong. Like so fucking. I wrong. mean, la like last I checked, last I checked, he was straight. But like, hey, people change. How okay. long ago did you date him, Lark? Um, I dated him like for a couple months in 2019. Okay, so a little bit ago. All right. Yeah. Well, your turn um, to go. Mary Kill. Yeah, fuck Mary okay. Kills. This is all you. Okay. Um, I, w I would marry Harvey because we were, we were really good friends. We didn't end on bad terms. We're, we're cool. Like, we don't talk anymore, but I wish him the best. So, cool guy. Um, fuck Ian. Kill Kyle. Only because it's fresh. I feel really, like, I'm not trying to, like, hurt anybody's feelings. Kyle's getting feelings. a short under the I'm really, I, I'm not trying to hurt his feelings, but it just was not... Anyway, bye, Kyle. Kyle looks exactly like somebody that I feel like I know who it is and I can't put a finger on it. You also don't seemingly have a type because all three of these guys look different. And Josh looks well, different. Well, okay. I dated Harvey for like three years when I was like 14. So I dated him from like 14 to 17. Got and it. And so that was like, we were, we were younger. And then Ian, I was like. Ian 17. looks like a supermodel. Like a vote. He, he so, be vote. yeah, he models yeah. now. Yeah. yeah he I should. hooked him up with my old modeling agent and he moved to New York. What a good ex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like he's in like the Rolling Stones or something. Yeah. And Kyle looks like he's in Goonies or something. <laughs> all right, next. Uh, Luna Blaze, Brooke These are Taylor, all my friends. And Lydia Mace. You got to pick between them. I have to? Yeah. Yeah. You got to kill one of your I know, homies. I know, Brooke's. Brooke's Crying literally right sitting in the room right over there. Um, I'm going to marry Brooke because that's we're basically already married. And then um, fuck Lydia. And Luna and I aren't friends anymore. So I'm going to respectfully Why? let her go. Did something happen? Um, no, she kind of just 
stop talking to me one day. That was really it. Damn. I don't believe that. Next. <laughs> Next. Vinny Hacker, Bryce Hall, Josh Richards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm not really friends with Vinny, so we're going to chop his head off. Oh, God. Okay, we'll marry Josh because nice. he's right next to me. Um, and you want to marry him? I could. Oh, Jesus. I made a could, whole video and TikTok about it. I don't. About Mads oh and everything. my God. This is. T- ooh, okay. I'm going to. Um, I can. I could never fuck Bryce. I'm, I love Bryce, but I could never fuck Bryce. We're going to kill Bryce and fuck Vinny. Vinny always ends up in the fuck category, like 100 out of Wait, 100. I mean, well, why, 100 why could 100. you never fuck Bryce? Because I've known him since I was like 13. And we, yeah, it's just kind of. That it's always kind of, amazes me how long you guys have actually like known each other. Run I've known him circles. since I was because he lived in Maryland and I lived in Philly. So we would hang out like before we even moved to L.A. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's small world. It's way smaller than I would have ever thought. How far away do you live from Josh now? Like you're in L.A., right? Yeah, I live in Simi. So like. Mm, probably like 30. OK. I think that's everything we got for you, Lauren. Any last questions? Bree, no, Josh? I have none. No. And she's got enough for us. Glad you came on and spilled nothing. the tea. They're definitely, definitely <laughs> hanging out after this. That's yeah. And we, I don't mean like tomorrow. I, to like, I mean like they're gonna do. They're probably starting. They're having a TikToks. play day. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I have to like film tea talking shit today. She's probably on it. No. Yeah, maybe. You want to be on the video? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, should be Thank right. you for coming on, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. It was so nice much. to meet you. you. Congrats yeah, on all your success. Thank you. All right. That's BFFs.